What's up guys, it's Veep Chief here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have for you an insane trading method to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 20. So if you are enjoying the content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to be entered into the giveaway I'm going to be doing, and let's jump into this. So guys, this trading method, it's a pretty laid back one, no sniping this one, it's all bidding, and it's based around chemistry styles. So... To start with, you're going to want to go to Premier League Quality Gold Defenders with Shadows in the Premier League. And if you don't know, when players have chemistry chemistry styles like Shadows, Anchors, Hunters on them, they go for more coins because people it's cheaper th for them to buy the player with the chemistry style already attached to them than to buy the player and the chemistry style separate. So basically, you're going to go to Premier League Defenders Shadow and you're going to put your bid probably up to around 5k here, your max bid price. And you're gonna wanna look around for players that are up for open bid. Someone like Matip with a really low bid right now that you're gonna be able to bid on later. So he's only got a 700 coin bid on him. Trent Alexander-Arnold has an 850 coin bid on him. Um, let's keep looking here. This Mendy with only a 700 coin bid. Uh, Gomez here is a good one. Another Gomez. So let's take, for example, let's go check Go Joe Gomez's price with a shadow on him. Um, we'll go down to Joe Gomez. Let's check his price without a shadow first. So without a shadow, Joe Gomez is going about 1,700 coins here. However, with a shadow, he goes for around 6k probably. Yeah. So one there for 6k that we have that we have marked that's probably going to get bought, and then one here for 6.5. So he sells about 6,000 coins. So what we're trying to take advantage of here is people who list their cards up with the good chemistry styles on open bed, or people who just list them up for buy now that don't uh, realize that they're uh, that they go for more because they have that chemistry style attached. So the idea here is you want to get a ton of guys sitting down here so that you're able to monitor them and uh, keep bidding on them. So next, what you're going to do is you're going to move to Premier League Midfielders with Shadows. And again, you're going to go to about 5k here. And we're going to look around. You get a Jordan Henderson here for 2,000. He could be nice. Uh, someone, anyone else on open bid here? It's late at night, so there's not a ton of cards listed. But then you're going to want to move to Forwards with Hunters on them. Again, 5,000 coins there as the bid. What are we going to see here? We're going to see a Callum Wilson there for 2.6k. Um, a Troy Deeney, he's probably, nobody's buying him, he's terrible. A Lucas Mora, he's a really good one. Um, who else could we get here with a low bid? Some who Wilfred Saha is a solid one for us. Pepe, these are all good cards here. And guys, the Premier League is the most popular, but you can also go into leagues. I don't know, the Spanish League could be pretty good. So 5.2k here. Forwards with Hunters, Vinicius Jr., he's a solid one. Um, nothing else there. And then you're also going to go to the midfielders with the Shadows, and you're going to try those out. And then after you do all of this, guys, I recommend you also check Anchors in something like the Premier League. So if I were to go uh, Anchors, Defenders in the Premier League, we could check these as well. These are probably a lot more cards listed up with anchors on them. Someone like Luke Shaw there, Joe Gomez with an anchor could be a good one. And then once you get these guys all down here in your transfer targets, you've spotted all of them. Again, we have 14 cards down here in the transfer targets. You're just going to want to start checking their prices. So Luke Shaw there for 650 coins. We're going to want to go, we're going to look up Luke Shaw. We're going to flick down here to him, and he had an anchor on him. Let's check his price with an anchor. What's the cheapest one here? So the cheapest Luke Shaw with an anchor right now is 2,900 coins there. So if we go to this Luke Shaw, he's up for bid, only 850 coin bid on him, and the cheapest one is 2,900, so we're going to want to throw a bid down there. Next, we're going to go to our Joe Gomez. We're going to check his price with an anchor. We know with a shadow, he was about 5K, I think it was. So Joe Gomez with an anchor is going to be a lot cheaper than the Shadow because the Shadow is the more expensive chem style. Uh, he's going about 2,500 coins here with an anchor. So we're willing to bid on that one. We'll definitely throw a bid down on that for 1,500 here. We still have our Luke Shaw there for, for a little bit. 
Um, cards that are good here are going to be these ones on the lower bids, like Fear Po for 700, Vinicius Jr. for 700. So this method, it takes a little bit more time, but you're going to get higher uh, coins than like lower budget sniping filters you're going to be you're going to be able to make some cards if people don't notice them like this luke shaw we might be able to make two thousand coins on him and uh someone let's go check junior fear poke could be one of the more expensive ones him with a shadow so this is a solid filter for late at night if you're up and on the game because you'll be able to win these on a bit easier there's not a lot of people paying attention so Junior Firpo with a shadow, there's one for 9.5k, one for 10k, and those are the cheapest. Now I don't see him selling for that much, so, wow, someone bought that Joe Gomez for 6k with a shadow. So as you can see, they are selling pretty quickly with the chemistry styles on them. Uh, so this jun Junior Firpo, we're going to go ahead and throw a 1,000 coin bid on him. If the cheapest was 9.5k, I'd say he sell he'd probably sell around 6,000 coins. And then another one, Lucas Mora with a Hunter. He's a bit more expensive card, so he could uh, he could be a nice one for us. But he already had a 4,000 coin bid on him, which is a little worrying. We might not be able to pick him up, but we're still going to check his price just to see what he's looking like here. Okay, for sure he'd be a good pickup for us. There isn't... Oh, wait, no, I have Defender on there. All right, now we can check his price. My bad there. Let's check his price here. The cheapest Lucas Mora, okay, 7.3k there for him. We'd be able to sell him for 7k. So this 4.1 here, we'd be willing to throw down 4.5 on him. So again, guys, it's just about finding players that have these open bids with the nice chemistry styles and trying to win these guys. So let's see what we've been outbid on here. So Luke Shaw, 1,000 coins. Again, he was 2,900. We're going to see if we can win this card here for around 2,000 coins, hopefully. And I'm going to go check his price again just to make sure. Just consistently checking the prices is a big part of this as well, because your uh, cards get bought pretty quickly with these chemistry styles. Uh, at the lowest price, they get bought pretty quickly because people want to get them into their teams. So you're just going to want to consistently check the price, make sure it's the same. So it's the same there, 2900 for Luke Shaw with a shadow. We just got to make sure we're keeping this bid up here in case we're getting outbid. Let's go ahead and bump it up to 1500 there, see what they do. And it's just about knowing the price points in the market, knowing how much players are going for. So again, you just want to keep in mind the, the prices here so you don't have to keep flipping back and forth. I'm going to go check the price on my Joe Gomez here. Again, he's going 1500 on bid right there. So our Luke Shaw we know is $2,900. Um, Joe Gomez down here with an anchor. Um, about 2500 So we're going to be bidding a little bit less on him. So just keeping in mind how much you want to bid on players. Let's go 2000 for that Luke Shaw. Someone already bought the bat tip as well. So, And then this Gomez hasn't gotten bid on yet, so it looks like we're going to be able to pick up that card there. So this Luke Shaw, we're going to sell him for 28 so this will be my last bid on him, 2200 So we're not going to be able to get him. Someone else outbids us on him there. But not terrible. You're not going to pick up every card, but it's just about picking up some cards. Like If we can get this Joe Gomez, that would be some good coins there. Um... Someone like these, a uh, Vinicius Jr., I, I'm i guessing he's got a really good price on him. I'm going to go check, actually. Vinicius Jr. with a Hunter is probably a solid pickup if we were able to get him. So, Vinicius Jr. with a Hunter here. Cheapest one there is 4,000 coins as a left mid. So we'd be able to sell a left winger Champions League version for 4,000 easily. It looks like we're going to get this Joe Gomez as well here, get a quick 1,000 coins profit. Uh, again, this Vinicius Jr., I'm going to throw down a 1,000 coin bid on him. And if you want to make this a little bit faster, you're going to be going to every single league, and you're just going to be checking the uh, checking the prices, checking the players. And then while you're waiting for these, uh, these to expire, guys, what makes this method really efficient is, as you can see, I was doing a lot of waiting around there, just kind of waiting for players to get down to the last minute. You're just going to sit here, and you can snipe. So you're going to go Premier League... Hunter forward, and the cheapest one is 2500 for a gold card. So I'd sit here and I would snipe about 2000 coins. And you can also do this with defenders, you can try out. You can check gold Premier League defenders with shadows, see where the cheapest one is at. Uh, 2900 for the cheapest one. So I would probably snipe these at about 2300. Again, so there's so many players in the filter, and you're going to be able to be more efficient you're not just sitting here waiting for these cards like i did for the luke shaw for the joe gomez so we get him there for 1500 uh we're gonna go ahead and list him up for 2500 that'll sell on 
quick thousand coins there. So guys, it's just about finding these players that are on open bid with, with good chemistry styles, putting down bids on all of them, and then going in and sniping to kind of fill up the time making sure you're doing something. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to be entered into the giveaway I'm going to be doing, and I'll catch you in the next video.